so the way this whole idea of clones came about is that I used to have this golden retriever. I loved her dearly and she passed away in 2019. Now, since I was doing plush toys at the time, I asked my pattern maker, hey, as a way of remembering my, um, my beloved pet, can you try making a realistic clone of her? One of the things I like to say is that we're not taxidermy, so it removes that ick factor, right? Like, we're not actually using the real skin of the pet. You know, this is actually 100% genuinely a stuffed toy. So basically, it's just the same fabric we use for making teddy bears, but it looks realistic. So as you can see here, this is a picture made by, sent to us from one of our customers. And from there, our airbrusher is carefully airbrushing all the um, little markings on the pet while he's looking at the picture from the customer. So this process takes around 20-30 minutes depending on the complexity of the um, pet. One of the um, things about these clones is that, you know, even though your, your pet isn't here anymore, um, just by being able to see it there in the position that it used to like, sit on the couch before, it really brings back memories because it's like, wow, it's like something that's physical that looks just like the pet and it gives all the warm, fuzzy feelings coming back again. So, yun, pagka, pagka pinupuntahan ko siya, nagpa-flashback talaga yung memories. Na lalo pagka hinawaan ko siya, yung, yung saya na nararamdaman ko during nung, nung kapiling namin siya. Kasi alam na namin na nandito siya. Although nandito naman yung abo niya, may, dito yung memories niya, mas maganda yung memories niya ngayon na kamukha niya talaga.